All right, guys, welcome to episode 99 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got Jay over there, Remy being a piece of shit. You already yep. know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go Dope. down in the description, get yourself some merch. And listen, man, we're going to give you guys a couple seconds, five to ten seconds. Man, go ahead and hit that subscription. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Hit that notification bell. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? If you rock with us, if you rock out with your cock out, bro, just let it be known. That's all we saying. Yeah. That's all we saying. That, that's, that's Welcome back. We don't that you can't Welcome hang home. out with us. Facts. Big facts. But yeah, guys, we're back with another one. Episode 90 fucking nine, guys. 99. Hey, 99, guys, hold motherfuckers. Hold on, hold on, when you flip that upside down, what does that make? Round of applause to us, guys. Um, I mean, I don't damn. know. Is yeah. it that deep? Yeah, it's kind of deep. I don't know. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. Flipping around, what does that mean? We'll see. I don't know. But nah, listen, man. <laughs> episode 99, guys. Episode 100. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be special. We're yeah. going to have a special little episode for sure. Hookers, cocaine, alcohol. Yeah, all types of shit, man. Like, you know? Project X party in this bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm popping a special edition Hennessy bottle for y'all. Nah, um, for real. But it, it's going to be lit, bro, because yeah. it's, it's an accomplishment, man. And, Old English. And, listen, guys. Next month marks the two year, you know, the two year fucking anniversary of the birth of this podcast. So that's another round of applause. Two years strong. July 29th will mark two years, man. And yeah, that's that's, that's, big. that's fucking big. It's big. And we're about to hit 100 episodes, bro. Yeah, come, come on, on man. Like, come, come on, bro. Like, like, that's just. I'm and we sorry. appreciate oh, all of y'all, bro. Like, come on, man. Come on, we appreciate man. y'all, oh, man. Yo, but you know it's Go nice. Go support the Merzik. The Merzik <laughs> and the merch. Yo, it's nice. It's nice, bro. Yo, man, that music video, man. That shit's about to drop pretty fucking soon. Hey, I'm pretty man, hype, facts. man. Round of applause to my dog. Round of applause. Hey, he shot yo. a. Yo, hey, bro, he's you. being modest when he says that he made a video. He shot a fucking movie. Yo, I shot okay. a fucking movie. It's a fucking movie. Yeah, don't forget the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yo, with the butter. You know what I mean. Nah, but yeah. you know what? I had a really good time. It was a vibe. Uh, and she was cool, man. Like, even the model, man. You know what I mean? The model was cool. Professional. My boy Sean, he does his thing. Shout out, Shout to, out Sean, to Sean. Man. You know what I mean? He has a normal fucking job. You look at him, you be like, nah, this motherfucker don't do this shit. He does it, bro. He does it. He, he does, does it. it. He does wow. it well, bro. He, he does it very. He's been well. doing it for years, and and he was doing it well back in back in the day when you know when I was oh, working yeah. with him a little bit. Like yeah. he's been doing his shit for a long time, bro. Like Smart so, shout guy. out to you. That's another you know that's another fucking round of applause because he's been consistent. So shout out to Sean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like keep doing your thing, play boy. You're going places for real. You're, You're young too, for sure. But listen, man. Shout out to Texas, right? Again, round of applause. Mm, shout out to Texas. Yeah. Texas. What's going on in Texas, Jay? What the fuck is going on? Oh, you know, I'm very proud of the uh, state of Texas, ladies and gentlemen, because they've become the most gun-friendly state in mm -hmm. the nation. They just put in like seven, you know, Second Amendment laws into place, protecting our rights. Right. And they're going to build their own section of a border wall, you know, we to protect our borders the best that we can, because apparently we're like the only place that doesn't, right? I used to live by Canada, and guess what? One yeah, time, they, we got rejected, me and my cousins in the car, because they didn't want to let us in. By customs. Yeah, facts. By yeah. customs. You know, I was actually watching that show, The Border Patrol Customs. Mm -hmm. They're actually really fucking assholes. Like, you know that, <laughs> you know that when, you, when you travel to the U.S., it's not, they're not just looking for drugs. No, they're never nice. You know, yeah, they're, they're never personable with you. No. When we used to go to the border, it was straight, straight face. Like, business, why are you going bro. to Canada? Yeah. What are you coming to see? How long are you going to be in Canada? What are you going to be bringing back from Canada? What are you bringing into the country of Who Canada? Who do you know where you stay? Yeah, like, no, they need to know all that. When you come no, back, right. it's the same thing. At the border, they ask you, how long were you in the, are you bringing anything back from Canada in there? Are you, and you got to be like, nah. And then if they stop you, which it happened to us a couple of times, they'll be, you'll know, because they'll be like, can you pull over there? Yep. Oh, you're fucked. And then you're just like, dude, they're going to search you. They're going to ask you to reverse or take it. That's why you need to travel with all and that. And they have yeah, all rights. Actually. They have all rights yeah, to do anything they country, want. They can bro. stick a finger in your butt if you want to. But I don't mind. Hey, bro. I mean, I don't mind. That sounds like a good thing to me. Yo, the guy, I was watching a fucking episode, right? And this guy was going on a plane and she's like, hey, um, can you stop here for a second? And I was like, oh, this guy's fucked. Um. And there, it was literally this guy from like East Africa or like South Africa somewhere. I don't know, but he was from Africa. He's not from here. And she was like, "How much money do you have?" You said, "Um, seven thousand four hundred." She's like, "Okay, um, yeah. Can can we open up your bag and see how much you know you really got?" And I was just like, 
Oh, it's a rap. This I'm gonna is rob him. Yo, That's they, a job. No, no, no. no. Right. I'm gonna kill him. Shiesty, then, it, <laughs> then it does like a whole other thing, and she's like, "Yeah, you know, I don't think he was expecting us to open up his bag." And then it goes back to the fucking thing, and they're going through his bag, and I was like, "Fuck!" They open up the envelope. It was like another fuck. It was like another fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, and bro. They, they is- seized it, and they <clears throat> took him. They're like, "Hey, you know." Like, they seized it. I love that word. Yeah, you guys got five point something a million in drugs. We're gonna seize it, and then we're gonna low key sell it back to the cartels and put it back on the streets, and then we're gonna come in and raid it, take it back, sell it back to the cartels. Allegedly, yeah, you know, just it's, saying. Yeah, it's all the routine. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody's hands in there. Don't pretend like government officials are not. Doing shiesty shit. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. why it ultimately, like, it sounds good. You know, like I agree with the gun law shit, but like the 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 border shit. It's like you ain't niggas, stopping those people. Like they're not stopping no drugs. <laughs> You're small. not stopping the people from coming. <laughs> You're not stopping none of that. That shit's continuing. It's yeah. gonna continue. You seen the videos of people funding. scaling it already, bro? The pieces that we do mm-hmm. have. There's mad figures. They're smart. Straight up. But when there's a will, there's a way. When, if somebody wants to come here, they're going to figure We're out a way animals. to come here. We could figure shit out. That's yeah. the thing that we have that's different from animals, that whole problem-solving thing. You Fact. see what I'm saying? Nah, bro, but ultimately, bro, it comes down to, like, us just protecting us. And, yeah. you know, when I was a little younger, I had a different view on it. Like, I used to be, like, and not even a little younger. Like, up to recently, I had a view about the military like yo why do we gotta go be the world's police right mm-hmm. and I, I listened to a few guys that had actually been to war and shit like that and they were talking about how like if like bro they need help there's there's yeah. countries that don't yeah. have don't have the, the shit don't that have we armies. got they don't have the army yeah. they don't have the fucking guns they don't have the tanks they don't have the shit to fight the people that do have that stuff so we gotta come in and, and help people too you know what I'm saying yeah. but ultimately it, that's what it comes down to like it's not about going over there and enforcing your laws. It's about eliminating a problem before it gets too big. You see what I'm saying? That's how Hitler started, remember? Started Listen, out bro. small, and then before you know it, millions. Millions. I'm talking about like, but I'm talking about like, like mm-hmm. terrorist groups in specific, bro. Like, yeah, you know, because those people, like, you go to, you go we over there, you go too, to, you know? Al- we of, help of course, <laughs> like, you go to Al Qaeda, you go to fucking, you go to all these places, bro, like, they be running shit over the there. The people from there don't, want fucking Al-Qaeda around. Nah. Like, nigga, they're going into their towns and killing people and fucking doing all types of shit, putting yeah. people in cages and setting them on fire. Yeah. You know, they're doing a lot of different crazy shit. And cutting people's play, heads bro. off in they're the, like the middle cartels. of the street. That's what yeah. I mean. It. That's literally how he explained it. He's like, yeah. they are the Middle East cartel. Yeah. And if you let a problem like that get too out of hand and get too powerful, bro, then what's next? Once they take over that territory, who's next? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like... You listen, man. There, it's like a, it's like cancer, and that's anywhere, bro. Like that's terrorist groups here. You know what I'm saying? Like there's terrorist groups in America. As that's much as people don't want to fucking forever. admit it, to, in my opinion, bro. You know, Bloods, Crips, KKK, all that shit is on the same page to me. Domestic terror. You're all a, a domestic terrorist group. Yeah, period. That is. Period. And, because it, it's all about change, and it used to be about change. But it's not no more, bro. It was never about it, fucking it, change. It was because it, it the blood, <laughs> the Bloods and Crips. No, the Bloods and Crips, bro. They derived from the Black Panther Party, Thank which God. was about literally. It was about change, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know, but it's like at some point, it's like anything else. It gets corrupted. Yeah. yeah, money gets involved. People get greedy. People want to yeah. get ahead of other people. You kill other you know people. What I'm saying? Like, like you kill family members and shit, and then it's just beef after that. Yeah, there's like, a documentary on Netflix, I believe, and it's about the prison experiments. And they took these young men, they put them in a prison scenario, and they took they were all cool with each other, just a group of young men. Then they separated them, put these as guards, these as prisoners. And what happened over time in a nutshell was that the guards let the power go to the head. By the end of it, they were abusing and really hitting these other kids because they thought they had that power. Yeah. Even though in the beginning they were all cool and they knew that this was an experiment. Yeah. But it, they just wanted to show how power can go to your head real quick. Mm-hmm. Damn, power does get to your head, bro. It makes yeah. you a fucking airhead. Thank you. You know what I mean? You just feel untouchable. I yeah. feel like power is the same thing as money, bro. It yeah. just exposes exposes really more are. of what you are. Like, because there's people that use their power for good. But, you know, there's people yeah. that use their power to, to fund schools and give out things to families that need it. And, and they really help people. But there's other people that use their power for evil. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, 
It just, we all it have free on, will. Yeah, you have free will. You have no. choices, bro. It's all about what you want to what you want to put your energy into. To be honest, energy. But, yeah, guys. So, shout out to this fucking guy, right? <laughs> Round of applause to the fucking guy <laughs> that sent Kim K, Kim Kardashian. He sent her a ring. How thoughtful, <laughs> and even more thoughtful, a Plan B pill. Round of applause again. Yeah. And now that they're Round of applause again. Place. Oh no, but listen, that's swag. No. She's just playing hard to get, fella. She's just playing hard to get. Go right hey, listen, back. Don't quit. Tell Kanye's bodyguard <laughs> to tell, tell her. Yeah, he knows her. <laughs> to he knows tell her. her what's up. You feel me? He's got Kanye. a number. <laughs> fucking Kanye, bro. Shout out to him. He's dating some like a model. A model? Now. Yeah. Is he's he really model. that yeah. quick? Yeah, really. Oh, he I found mean, out she was. I mean, he found out she was fucking Drake. He's a billionaire. He found out she was fucking Drake. Bro, sorry, it, you can't change my mind. Before the yeah. ink was dry on the divorce paper, bro, he told her to get out. He, he said, "Get out! Don't talk to me." I'm changing my number. I'm I'm dating this model. All yeah. right, he's a, trash. Gem, he's a Gemini, just like me. So he understands. No, like listen. this no, guy's no, no. all about the Astros. No, let me tell you something. He reads <laughs> palms too. Yo, Gemini's like we're really easy to cut people off. Wow, that like, is cold. Like, I don't ladies, think that's true. I ladies, think so. yeah, I don't think that's true. I've seen this guy try to cut. The same person off like five times. In that day. <laughs> yeah, because you know why? Because you know why, motherfuckers? Because I give y'all you know, you fucking chances and y'all fuck up like every fucking time, bro. I literally tell you what not to do and you fucking do it. But uh, bro, listen, man. My yeah. dog, my dog be getting in his feelings, guys. Yeah, you it's know okay. what? Yeah, it's like, I, okay. bro, you Biggie said. and fucking Tupac, they're fucking Gemini's too, bro. You seen how quick fucking Tupac was like, "Fuck you, nigga. I'll fuck kill you." Fuck you, bitch. You, know I mean? you fat yeah, piece of shit. shit. Yeah, exactly, bro. Just like that. Don't. First off, fuck your bitch. Then what is it? Yeah, first off, fuck your bitch and your bitch you claim. And they click you claim. Oh, yeah, what side? Oh, yeah, when we yeah, rock, come equipped with game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked fuck your, your wife. wife. Man, fuck for life. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh, man. Man. It was his birthday. Not uh, giving a fuck. Like Your five birthday. days ago, he's a Gemini and he, he just turned fifty. Like he would have been fifty. He would have been fifty. No, he's fifty. fifty. He's out there. Re- yeah, yeah, rest in peace, dead. to Pac, man. He ain't dead. He's not, nah, not nah, really, he's bro. Fucked. To he's be a legend, that he's young. in Cuba with his aunt. To be a, <laughs> <laughs> to be a with his titi, 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 Carmela, Carmela, Carmela. He said, "Yo, the Cubans, bro. I met a Cuban bitch, bro. She I fucking, said it. she sucked my balls. Shout like, out no to all the outsiders out there. Man. Whoa, John, come on. I thought you said you were gonna talk about your personal life. Yeah, sorry, facts. sorry. And so now you're saying all this stuff. Now I'm interested. Yeah, what's yeah. up? We gotta hear it. <laughs> nah, she was crazy. She don't talk to me no more. Was she like, looking for a green card? Damn. No, she's actually here on visa legally. Legally. legally, yep, legally. Mm, I'll uh, believe it when I see it. Yeah, I'll believe when I, I see to, those papers. When, when I see a green card, I don't when know. I see it. <laughs> it's actually a folder. It's actually a know. folder. Are y'all the type to be like, all right, y'all care about sweat and shit? Like, if she was like, hey, you know, I'm a little bit sweaty. Whoa, Whoa. no, I'm weird with smells, bro. Yeah, I told her to go take a shower. Would y'all do the same thing? Or do oh, you, yeah, or what, but like you're really horny. You're really horny. Dude, my, me and my wife take showers now mind, before we have sex. And yeah, we've been yeah. married for 12 years. Yeah, okay. not fast. Like, I don't yeah. mind getting sweaty with you while we're in the action yeah. of yeah, doing some exactly. shit. But if you came already preseason, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to be It's a little that. bit too fucking. Ooh. It's, okay. a, it's a little bit of a adobo down All there. Right. You know I was just saying? making, yeah, a little bit of adobo, a little bit oh, of. Oh, man. I threw up my mouth. Sofrito. Sofrito. Uh, I know I don't smell good when I sweat, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, yeah, facts. I I smell like a fucking motherfucker. Yeah, this fucking dog. (laughs) You almost took it down. Yeah, yeah, my dog is crazy, guys. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, he is. He's just letting us know that he's just like his father. Yeah. Who's his father? I hate you, Dad. No, I'm just kidding. I Luke, told this. I told Luke this. Is his father. I told this chick that Remy. Oh, I like saw me. that. I got that. He didn't get it. <laughs> no, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. well, listen, guys. So looks are deceiving. Hey, <coughs> they. Looks are deceiving. Yeah. Looks are deceiving. <coughs> yeah, I look like a nice guy, but I'm really not. <laughs> right? Tell him. I mean, you are a piece of shit. Thank you. I'm so, proud of it. Yeah. I wear my emotions on There's my so sleeve. There's so much love in here. There's so <laughs> much love. Yeah. We nah, gotta nah. be people. Hey, Jordan Peterson, you know that guy? He <laughs> yeah, said that we to all Peterson. gotta fucking, we all gotta channel that inner piece of shit. Not yeah. in those words. Yes. But he says that we all have it. You gotta stay hard. And that's hard. what makes us us. You gotta get hard and stay hard. <laughs> all right? Damn. But so now, listen, guys. So, weed lace with fentanyl, right? There's been a bunch of reports 
if you guys don't follow the Blacklist XYZ on Instagram, go ahead and follow them, bro. They're a great fucking Instagram page. All the information you need about what's going on in the marijuana industry. Yes, indeed. But there have been reports that have, are coming out saying that black market weed is dangerous because there's people lacing it with fentanyl. You got to put it on a disc. And listen, yeah, bro. Right. You, you got to talk about you got to talk about the biggest crock of fucking shit. Listen, guys. For those of you, everybody, we understand everybody that watches this might not understand marijuana or even smoke marijuana. So let's break this down. Weed is not cocaine. Weed yeah. is not heroin. There is absolutely no benefit that you get from putting fentanyl in your weed. You're actually just clogging your fucking toilet with that weed because you're not going to be able to sell it. You're not going to spend money to then fucking lose it it's by true. lacing it yeah. with fentanyl. And I think that was Bad really move. going on. I think these big companies are putting propaganda out there to make the black market look bad so that people start going to the dispensaries that they're putting billions into. You see what I'm Boom. saying? Jesus. That's it. Drop the bomb that's on my, That's my analysis. Tell I really them. feel like that, bro. I feel like, like there's, a war, there's a like an underlying war going on between black market and the legal market where yeah. they're fucking putting billions of dollars into the industry with no knowledge of it. And now they're trying to make the fucking black market obsolete. Bro, it's and it crazy. might happen, bro. It might really happen because that's what happened with tobacco. That's what happened with the... Alcohol, there's, only a cer- there's only certain moonshiners now. You know Back what I'm then, the government put poison and alcohol to deter people during prohibition. The government did The this. government did that. So who's to say that this same article exactly. that they're fucking putting out there, they're not the ones that are putting out the fentanyl lace weed to scare people. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's... that's I y'all go that down, shit too. Y'all go down nah. in the comments and let us know how you feel about it. That's how I feel about I mean, it, man. I feel like they're, they're really trying to get rid of the black market. And... That's... Yeah, you know? obviously. They want to take away... They want to take away our fucking... Freedom, they want to take away our fucking weed. They want to have control over everything. They want to fucking, I don't know, man. These government, whoever trusts the government is just fucking crazy to me, man. Whoever like, thinks the government's out for your best interest. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Like, nope. what the fuck? Like, what do nope. you guys expect? Do you really think they want us to fucking live long? No. Do you think they want us fucking hooked on medication that they make yep. and can control us and our yep. money? And There's a good documentary like, on, on uh, HBO Max, and it's about the opioid crisis mm. and how many lives that kills and how it started. And then since, like, way back then, it goes all the way back into, like, the old school, old time medicine days. And there used to be bottles of medicine that were heroin. And on the bottle, it literally says it. They show pictures and video. It says heroin. Yeah, you know, and those and they got people hooked on that shit. But you on know, what, you know what the craziest shit is? That's what Hitler was giving the Nazi soldiers during the war. Because made that's why they were. That's you. what made them so ruthless. Because when you're on meth, <laughs> you literally like your emotions are gone. You have no empathy. You don't give a fuck. I'll kill you, slice your face, nigga. Damn. Kill your daughter in front. Like for real though, because <laughs> it's like you're nigga. You're on meth. Like you're hyped up. Like you're rolling. Yeah. It's like you're constantly rolling. They had yeah. pill bottles prescribed to them, bro, full yeah, of fucking bro. meth. Yeah, I did like, meth one time. Yeah, okay, uh, um, I'm we're going to change the subject. Anyway. Allegedly, John, <laughs> no, did not meth one no, time. No, no, it was, it was when I was doing Molly. It was my Molly days, and I had... It was like a little bit oh, methy. Yeah, yeah. It was a little bit methy. Like oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it was man. a little methy, Meth, you know. Molly yeah. days, I had bro, that pipe, you... and it was just... Yeah, yeah, Molly days, bro. You have your you have your moments, bro. You have your moments. You actually do some shit. You get laced. Yeah, shit. bro. You do other shit. I've done that though too. Yeah. I'm not even gonna talk was, shit. Yeah, I was like 18, 19. Yeah, I was I a kid. Like... I tried it, and then there was this fucking chick there, and she's like, "Hey, man, that's meth." I'm like, "No, it's not." She's like, "Bro, I've literally <laughs> shot up meth. That's fucking meth." What? I was like, "Wow, that's crazy." Yeah, I'm still took up. it. <laughs> I'm gonna roll tonight. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I'm ro- I'm rocking and rolling, baby. <laughs> Snorted some Buckle cocaine. Your seat <laughs> no, for real, I'm just bro. kidding. We Buckle don't condone drug use. But listen, guys, dead ass, dead ass. Don't don't do drugs. Yeah. We don't condone drug use. We you just know talk what I'm shit. We're talking about past stupid fucking dumb experiences that we should have never fucking done to begin with. Yeah, that but, at least he yeah, never exactly. sucked dick for it. So hey, yeah, yeah. Fact, that means yeah. he didn't become really hooked yeah. on it. Real, yeah. talk. <laughs> real talk, <laughs> real talk. But nah, listen, man. So New York violence, right? Shit. New York violence is going through the roof. 
It's crazy. I watched the fucking uh, I watched the guy on YouTube like two years ago. He said that New York was gonna turn into Gotham City. You it's right. fucking crazy. Like it's yeah, literally it turning into Gotham City. Like. Take it away, Jay. What happened this time? What the Yo, fuck happened? That video, I'm not sure if you guys seen it. I'm not sure if we're going to put it in here. Nah, now it's because too it's graphic. Disturbing. It's too graphic. And it's a dude in broad daylight running up on another guy and shooting him in front of his two little kids. Like, looks like a two year old and maybe probably like a six year old. Yeah. Oh, my God. And two little girls. Bro. Yeah, two little girls. And he's like girls. aiming right towards their direction and shit. But at the same time, I think the father's to blame. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing getting into beef? And then going out. You want to be in the streets? This is the consequences. You got to know how to move. And yeah. then you got... Besides that, bro. The, besides that point, you did something. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, it wasn't you were nobody, a good guy. Come, nobody comes and guns somebody down like that for no reason. It was too personal. Yeah. It was too personal. In broad the, way, daylight. the way he did it, that nigga was angry, bro. Yeah. Broad daylight, he, bro. he was angry enough to shoot you in front of your kids, bro. And not give a motherfuck. Yeah. And so it's a you, packed road in New York City. I mean, that's like broad somebody, daylight. Broad so daylight. that that's that's rage. You did uh, something. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. So that's cool. If that's what you do when you're in the streets and that's what you claim, cool. But move accordingly, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. for real. Keep your kids out of harm's way. Keep yeah. your girl out of harm's way. Yeah, keep. If your, it if it comes and it's your time, bro, then you deal with that as your as a man as as you. You yep. don't put your kids in like. If you if you know you got beef, bro, you know you did somebody a slime your way, bro. You don't go out there and just walk the streets with your two little kids, yeah. and yeah. this it probably the same neighborhood where you probably did whatever you you did. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Those like, girls are, are are not that listen, big, man. man. But to the guy that did the murder, bro, that's ruthless, bro. Yeah. Like you're yeah. a fucking piece of shit, man. Like there used to be certain things that back in the Ethics. day was not allowed, <laughs> and that's one one thing that's like. Even there's, Scarface. Yeah, like, bro, you get, there's certain passes you, you get or you should get, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Again, we're not street niggas, though. We're not street niggas. We're not gang bangers. We don't, you know. We're not in the but streets. This is yeah, just my opinion, us. man. This is my opinion. Anymore. And my opinion is <laughs> if you live that life, bro, and you, like, you have beef, bro. Listen, man, let let, them, let that man live another day if he's with his family, if he's with his wife, if he's yeah. with his kids. You gotta kill him anyways, if, right? Yeah, like if he, bro, you're gonna catch him. Yeah, y'all, y'all probably live in the same neighborhood. Yeah, so yeah. it's like catch him when he's alone. Like don't like because that right there, that video that I saw, bro. All I'm picturing is trauma for those little girls. Oh yeah, especially dude. the older one. The They'll little never one, the fucking, little one might yeah. be. A, they say they say know, they say when it when, when you stab somebody too. That's personal as fuck. That's, that's personal, a different right? mentality. No, 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 that, that's that's a different being, bro. Yeah. That's savage. That's you want to know what that feels like? Take some pork, right? Yeah. And then you stab it. Yeah. And it that's, feels the same that's way. Personal. That's what John told me. You that's know, personal. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? Like, that's why a lot of guys that are big, bad, tough guys in the streets, they they go to, they end up going to prison and they're not that tough anymore. Yeah. yeah. Because they, all they, they're used to guns. They're used to shooting from a distance, drive-bys, shootouts. When you go to prison, nigga, and you're dealing with a fucking MS-13 guy that's been in prison for 25 years, and, and he knows how to use people. that shank better <laughs> than you know how to use your fucking hands. Yeah. No way, bro. It's not nice. Yeah, he's, he's not <laughs> like, going anywhere. He's already doing life, so. To me, bro, that's a scarier thing. Like, I'll get more scared if I see a nigga pull out a knife than I see a nigga pull out a gun. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna hurt, if a bro. nigga pulls out a knife, that means that he most likely knows how to use it. Yeah. yeah. It's worse coming out <laughs> than going in. Oof. Oof. I can't imagine. Like, Yo, you've seen those sad. prison videos where dudes are working on the yard. They'll be like, oh, doing, and like the dude will walk up. Yeah, like, he's just like, and then all of a sudden he's just like, boom, right into the face, bro. Mm-hmm. Bye, bye. You're just like, bro, imagine getting caught off guard as you're, you're helpless right there. Yeah. He just straight, boom, stabbed you the first time in your face. You're going to react and fall and you're wrecked. The way yeah, they're stabbing bro. in jail, they're always like. Yeah. Bro, Quick. I've seen documentaries. Yeah. I've seen documentaries where there's like guys sleep with like thick ass books on their face. Yeah, bro. Like, they'll go to sleep and just lay a thick-ass book on their face because there's niggas that'll try to catch you while you're sleeping and just come try to stab you while you fucking sleep. There's no you know rules in there at all, bro. bro. So it's like, <laughs> bro, like, yeah, like, it, it's a different world, but fuck all that, guys. Don't do nothing stupid yeah, man. to go to prison. Stay yeah. out of prison. You know, work. Get your money. Take care of your family. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, but don't end up in prison, man, because yeah. that shit, fuck all that. A real man that. works. Yeah, for real. Fuck all that. But listen, yeah, guys. Round of applause to Chick-fil-A. Shout out. Chick-fil-A, man. They've been getting attacked lately. 
You know, there's a lot of propaganda going around, bro. True. With a lot of different shit. And there's a lot of propaganda shit. going around with Chick-fil-A. And Chick-fil-A is fucking awesome. I don't Phenomenal. understand it. Phenomenal. I don't understand it. Yeah, they'll run a mile for you, bro. I promise you. They'll run out that fucking bro. drive-thru. You forget a fucking <laughs> straw, bitch. Hey, bro, they'll fucking listen. run out a mile. I'm telling you. They care more the about the my well-being than my own parents. Enough. They'll hey, call bro. you. They'll Thank call you. Be like, yo, I know we missed your straw. Would you... uh We'll give you 50, oh, 50% hey, off. Hey, bro, you stuff. come through and you Why tell Why you gotta that, use that voice, though, Drake? I don't know. Yeah, my dog. He's like, uh, you forgot a straw, so. My dog's yeah. on the phone at 2 a.m. You talking well, like that? <laughs> for real. Yeah, yeah nah, nah. But nah, nah for that's real. How they are, though. They're soft. They're, don't they're run gentle. a mile, bro. Don't run a motherfucking mile for you, bro. Don't run a... <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you tell me you, they, you forgot a straw. You got a free sandwich. The fuck is you talking about? I'm like, I got kids. Can I get three pieces? <laughs> you she forgot me. three straws. We yeah, forgot three straws. She hit me with a yo. I made an extra fucking milkshake. You want it? I was like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they be giving yeah. shit out all the time. You I'm can like, ask what? for free cookies. To be honest, damn. Like, don't play with Honestly. me. I'll go. I'll leave I, you right damn, now. Today's Chick Fil A. Damn, it's Sunday, so it's called oh, gotcha. Uh, Shout out to you, yeah, though, man. Yeah, that's hey, you, you, that, that's religious. Yeah, that that's is. Religious. Like, shout out to you. Shout God to bless you. your fucking heart. They said go to church. Go yeah, to church. Don't come here. Shit. Don't come here to eat chicken. <laughs> go to nah, the chicken's real. The chicken's real. I tested it. How'd you test it? Let's hear it. I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Nah, I just looked up the characteristics of a chicken. Oh wow! And the texture. Holy yeah. fucking yeah. Bill Nye! This yeah. guy is a fucking this scientist. Is a fucking Round of applause. Yeah. Fuck you. Bill Nye don't know shit, bro. Yeah. Compared to John. Yeah. yeah, I'm out here. You know, and I had to study some shit, and I figured it out. Wow. Fuck you, Salt Bay. Yeah. That's the life. That's life. You know, you just you just gotta fucking. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Salt Bay, Salt Bay came the fuck up. Y'all yeah. seen a picture of that nigga when he was like a oh, dishwasher there? Damn. Yeah. Really, bro. Oh, man. That nigga started from look it up. That nigga started from the bottom, bro. No, bro. and now he's sprinkling he salt on fucking steak that's glittered in gold, Damn. and making bitches fucking eat steak off of knives and shit. Yeah, that's all he's he does. Cooling, and he just cuts it up like. Hey, bro, listen, man. He's like, he just cuts it up. Would like you that. let Would you let your significant other? Experience salt based fucking meat, <laughs> bro. I'll let, I'll let him, I'll tell you this. I'll let him cut anything in my house. Damn, anything. Yeah, not, <laughs> not my penis. Yo, why? But anything else. Anything Yo, else is why fine. Is why are you going straight to penis, yeah, you yeah, dirty yeah. gutter fuck? Cause, bro, I was thinking cool. about Remy and shit. Head. Stop it, babe. I'm trying to put a load in the dishwasher. Second guy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Why did you pull man. that up so quick? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, we need to put that on there. That's just hilarious. I put in Salt Bay and this is what the fuck it comes up with. That shit's <laughs> fucking I mean, wild. Understand. The times that we live yeah, in, man. Said, yeah, the times that we live in. Nah, but listen, bro. guys. So, fucking Logan Paul, bro. Logan Paul. Is I don't know if it's Logan, Logan Paul or Jake Paul. It's the older fucking brother. The one that just fought Mayweather. Yeah, that one. The, the one that shit. just finessed all of y'all out of $30 million. I heard it was like 12 k a ticket. It, bro, yeah. Them niggas was That's pissed. Crazy. Blueface was tight. I felt him. And I didn't even watch the fight or pay for it. That's him. why he's going to be broke by the age of like 43. I don't know. Blueface is doing it. He got like oh. R. Kelly shit going on oh, right no. now. So yeah. I don't know if it, allegedly. Yeah. He yeah. got like. Yeah, I mean, but it, it, it's like they're with that shit. Like he yeah. got like twelve girls living in his house, and they're all like they're with it. Though, yeah, they right? got his name tatted on his. Uh, oh, like like they're all, yeah, 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 like yeah. So yeah, shout out to matter of fact, shout out to him. Shout oh, yeah. out to him. Yeah, he's a pimp. It's not, it, it's not easy to get, to get twelve girls to be on the same page. It ain't tricking. It, it ain't <laughs> tricking if he got it. Fuck it. Ooh. Fuck it. And you know what? He actually opened up his own uh, seafood restaurant. No, nah, he, he's he's not did. going. He's not going broke. Like he's mm -hmm. not. He's yeah, not he's a smart. dumb guy. And his mom you know is working for the like. She's like the one running the show. Yeah, like, yeah, he's not he, a dumb you know guy. I mean? like, but yeah. Logan Paul versus fucking Mike Tyson, bro. Mike Tyson. Was this so guy. Listen, man. I understand. You called out Mayweather. It worked out for you, brother. I'm glad it did. Y'all made your bag. He still knocked you the fuck out. In yeah. my opinion. <laughs> and and stood you up. Yeah, but that's not that's not here or there. Yeah, I know. Brother, brother, brother. You're calling out Mike Iron Tyson. No, I'm not fighting. He was the heavyweight champion of the world at 19 years old. I'm not fighting shit. him. This um, nigga no literally knocked it's like Kimbo. everybody out. He bit someone's ear off. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's ruthless. Like, I think we only have like 30 seconds. 